is good everybody it's Karsten Craning back at it again for another YouTube video I know it's been a long 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 time pretty much almost half a year since I made a video like this sorry I haven't made one of these videos in a while a lot of transitions in my life uh, like new job uh, etc anyway let's just get right into it with the pickups that we have so first I want to do tops the first top that I got is this undercover um, Neon Genesis Evangelion t-shirt. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of both Undercover and Neon Genesis. I was a huge fan of the collection uh, when it came out. I didn't feel like dropping a band on one of like the bigger pieces, or a couple of bands that is, but I decided to buy a t-shirt just as something kind of fun. The next item I have here is kind of controversial, I guess. I bought this like almost nine, ten months ago, but it's the Kanye West Yeezy um, Kanye Vision purple hoodie. Uh, but anyway, just my general thoughts on this hoodie. It is super, super thick, which I like, but it is super hot and heavy as well, and also kind of crops in a weird place. I bought it because everybody kind of raves about Yeezy hoodies, and while I get why some people might like this, this has sort of been an in-between piece for me. Like the color, like some elements of the fit, but at other points, I'm not a fan of it. Next was the hoodie that I spent way too much money on, and this is the Givenchy by Matthew Williams uh, Cheeto hoodie. If you do not know who Cheeto is, he is a graffiti artist out of Seattle. Um, so I bought this because I really like his art, kind of want to support him uh, being from Seattle, where I am from. Also, this whole collection that uh, Matthew Williams did, this resort collection with Cheeto, was super cool. I really wanted the hoodies and I love the styling from a long time ago, so I'm super happy to get this one. Uh, I also thought it was cool because it's a reference to the old Tishi piece where it's the Givenchy Rottweiler stuff. And I thought it was a really cool way to kind of modernize that and have an interesting in-house intertextual reference. Next, as far as hoodies go, I have this one from Marcus or Maccus, excuse me, but I have this Maccus hoodie, which I got. It's in this dark charcoal. I've worn it a lot. It's probably been my favorite hoodie out of any hoodie I own. I have about three or four Maccus hoodies, or Maccus hoodies as of now, and I just wear them all the time because they're super comfortable and I love the fit of them. But this hoodie is still available on their website. I would definitely recommend it for the price. It's like 120 bucks and it's perfect. Next, as far as outerwear goes, I bought this vintage all sun um jacket which is just kind of like a green military style jacket and it has this brown corduroy collar i love how it's washed um the aging of it i don't know a lot about all sun as a brand but this has just been a super cool piece to have and i love buying vintage these days because you don't have to feel bad about actually wearing it there's not that anxiety about oh if i spill on this is this gonna be like a gonna destroy my investment in this piece so i just bought this with that kind of in mind and I've loved wearing it. It's a great easy work jacket. This next piece I have shown before um, but it's this Arcteryx puffer. I shown I showed it briefly in a vlog of mine not a pickups video so I shot it, thought I would show it to you guys now. Uh, I would 100% recommend this puffer. I've owned a couple of Arcteryx pieces and what I will say is that they're like goose down jackets are amazing. I haven't been as impressed with their shell jackets as I have with other brands, but as far as like keeping you warm, these um, puffer jackets are amazing. And I bought this one off of Facebook Marketplace a year ago for really freaking cheap. Um, and I've just worn it to death and worn it every day. It's too cold to wear anything else. And I have loved it and would 100% recommend this ARC jacket. Continuing on with outerwear, I got this Pullover White Mountaineering X Uniqlo Cream Fleece. Um, I like this piece a lot. Obviously, I don't love the quality of it. It's definitely that kind of cheaper Uniqlo quality on the fleece, but the design is crazy. Um, I like this pullover. I like the way it fits. I like the pockets of it. I like fleeces in general a lot these days because they're super comfortable, easy to wear, but they also look nice. And I was super excited to get this one. <laughs> But um, the one thing I will say is, is that like for the white mountaineering Uniqlo pieces, the prices are absolutely insane. I bought this one for like 40 bucks, but I see people like reselling the same fleece that is probably worth $40, um, is $40 quality for like $240 and more. So if you can get this for a good price, I definitely recommend it. But otherwise, 
just go look at other fleeces. I'm glad I got it for the price I did, but, and White Mountaineering is a cool company, but obviously it's Uniqlo quality, which can only be so good. So on to pants. The first pair of pants I bought are these Carhartt double knees. These are in this kind of like light washed brown color that almost has like a purplish hue to them in some lights. I don't know if you can see that now or like a kind of wine undertone, but they're definitely a brown. Um, I really like these. I like double knees. Again, I got these. These are vintage and I've loved wearing them a lot. They're a little big, but you can just wear them with a belt and they still look great. So then I also got these um, Lee's that are somewhat vintage, somewhat not. I think they're like from like the mid 2000s, so they're not true vintage, but I bought these Lees um, when I was out thrifting um, in the countryside uh, with Tommy Pointer. These are in this kind of moss color. They're straight leg. I like them a lot. Um, they're super easy to wear. These are some vintage black Levi's 501s that I got from the homie Fernando um, and his whole Unsound team. I bought these, was super excited. These are probably the pair of pants I wear the most just because they're super easy. I can wear them with anything and 501s are an amazing silhouette. I love all of the distressing on them um, and the details to them. So yeah, they're definitely a fave of mine recently. Next, I have some Levi's 517s boot cut ones. I bought these off of eBay for super cheap and they fit pretty good. I'd like them to be a little bit longer. Um, but besides that, I like the 517 cut a lot and I'd like to get longer 517s to see how they fit. Um, and I just wanna keep experimenting with different cuts of Levi's and pants to see what I like the most. And then finally, the craziest of the Levi's are these Levi's 550s, which are not my favorite cut. But what I do love about these Levi's the most is how insane the wash is. Um, these were at one point a gray, as you can see from the inside, they were this interesting like stone gray color. And I got these in a mining town and they look like they've been beat to death from mining. I've shown these before, but they have all this like tan sediment like caked into it. So it's altered the color and it's been this kind of dust or dirt has just really altered the color to be this more tan. So it's this interesting combination of in some areas where they didn't get as much exposure to dust, it's um, uh, grayer or this light gray. And in other areas, it's almost like a washed um, another pair of pants that I've worn a lot are these Matrix cargo pants. Um, and I'll explain what I mean is I was looking one night for some cargo pants for cheap because you can usually find like cheap nylon cargo pants on eBay or Depop that are super cool for a unique price. Um, and I got these, they turned out to be Matrix cosplay pants and I've worn them all the time because they're so cool. Um, they look like Balenciaga raver jeans a little bit um, where they have that super wide cut, um, except they aren't, I like these more. They're a little bit more tasteful to me than the Balenciaga. It's still kind of that vibe of like 90s, early 2000s, wide legged, ultra accessorized pants. But these are again, Matrix cosplay pants apparently. <laughs> And I've worn them all the time and I love them. They have so many weird little compartments that aren't practical, but look cool. So yeah, super sick. Um, another pair of pants that I have bought that I looked on like the same search filter for like neat, like nylon hiking pants are these ones by a brand called Nessie AG, which I know nothing about. I can't really find much about this brand. Anyway, I bought these, they're this sort of nylon hiking pants with that have uh, both adjustable buckles and zippers that you can open and close. I've liked these pants, I like the fit, but I don't love the color. I don't love the like navy and the orange um, lining inside a lot. So I'm thinking of DIYing these and maybe dyeing them black. Last but not least for pants, I bought these um, Alix Night Rider lounge pants are what they're called. It does kind of have like the vibe of like a garbage bag has been taped to your leg, but I still like them. The only problem I have is I really haven't, since I bought these almost like six months ago, I think I've worn them once. I'm gonna try to wear them again, but I just like don't go out enough to wear these. All right, moving on to accessories. I have a few hats, a few other things. First is this Yoji Yamamoto X Supreme beanie. I bought this um, after seeing the collection and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I don't love the fit of it now that I have it in hand. It kind of looks funny if you don't roll it up. Um, and when you do roll it up, it does look nice, but 
I don't know, the quality of it is okay. Like it's a thick beanie, but I think it could be a little bit better. On the other hand, my friend got me a beanie for my birthday. This is from a brand called Rotototo. And the quality of this is about 100 times better than the Supreme Yoji Yamamoto one. If you guys just want a great beanie or like great socks, Rotototo is a crazy brand and I love this. The fit is 100 times better. The material is 100 times better. If you guys are gonna buy a beanie, I'd 100% recommend this brand. The quality of the fabric is amazing. It's this blend of acrylic, nylon, and wool, and it just feels so comfortable. Um, just the perfect feeling, the perfect weight, um, and everything you could want in a beanie. I bought a few different bags and was gifted a few different bags. Um, first is from the homies at Sealson. Sealson is an amazing bag company. They make all types of different bags. And I bought one, they sent me another, um, and they've just been a pleasure. Uh, they're really great guys. Definitely go check out this brand if you're looking for bags um, that are kind of in that maybe more technical pouch kind of fanny pack thing, which you can kind of sling over yourself, or maybe it's a Merce. I'm not really sure exactly what you call these, but it's really cool. It's made out of this kind of interesting material. I believe this is fireproof. I was reading about it and it's a super interesting like fireproof material, which is cool. And then obviously it has these two zippers and then it has this quick release um, function where you can just kind of open it really easily with this cool clip. I like the hardware of this company a lot and this bag is super cool and I literally probably wear this every day. Coming again strong uh, from the homies at Sealson is this giant tote bag. This tote bag is again made out of a really, really interesting um, material. Uh, this tote bag can also be transformed into like three or four different bags. Uh, like including a backpack and another, but I pretty much just sling it over like a tote bag. Materials are A1, um, the compartments are A1, and of course the hardware is A1. Everything about this bag is super nice, super cool. Definitely go check out Sealson if you are, guys are looking for some cool bags. Finally, at the end of the bags that I've worn is this last one, which is a Nike ACG bag. It's called the Karst bag, fin uh, funnily enough. And I bought it, I looked it up and found it because it's very similar to my name, Karst, Karsten. Um, and then I actually ended up really liking the design and I bought one and this has kind of been my like backpack that I use for hiking. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as like a um, backpacking backpack, but it does its job for just kind of like an everyday, easy, small hike. Um, backpack and I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay, last but not least when it comes to pickups the last thing that I wanted to show you guys uh, These are a little bit dirty, but they're the Salomon XT2 wings These are the shoes that I have worn the most in like the past nine months I've worn them to death and they're actually still in pretty freaking good condition uh, For me like wearing these every day. Um, these have been my everyday shoe. Uh, I love Salomon I'm a firm believer in this company is a great shoe company the shoes, in my opinion, hold up better than Nike or um, Adidas. Obviously, they're a little bit of a higher price point most of the time, but man, these are just some of the best sneakers you can get. Uh, mine are a little bit worn down because I wear them hiking. I wear them pretty much every day, um, but I love the X-T2 wing model um, and I like them in the black and red color. If you guys need to get a everyday tennis shoe, an everyday sneaker, that will go with pretty much anything. Uh, I would definitely recommend this shoe. It's it's 10 out of 10 for me. All right, on to the final portion of my video, just my recommendations. I'm gonna give a few books. I have a few more that I've read, but I don't remember them all off the top of my head. First is Sun and Steel by Yukio Miyashima. That's been a super important and inspirational book for me in like the past uh, year or so since I've read it. It's obviously a pretty short essay. I definitely recommend it. Um, it's inspired me a lot to start working out. Um, and I've been doing that a lot um, for the past year. Working out has been super important to me. Um, and that book has just kind of urged that on. And then the second book I've read a lot of has been The Pale King by David Foster Wallace. The Pale King by David Foster Wallace is his last work that he passed away before it could totally be edited and released. It's a very large book. It's unedited for the most part. Um, so it's kind of full of a lot and I still haven't really finished it, 
but it's just kind of a book I come back to whenever I have some time and read a few chapters. Um, it's kind of nice because it's a book that you don't really need to think about the grander narrative, I would guess. It's more about these small meta narratives that are all interwoven throughout. Otherwise, um, I have been reading the manga as well as watching Chainsaw Man, which has been a favorite um, of mine and I've really enjoyed that. Um, also watched Jujutsu Kaisen the first season. I thought that was a pretty good anime. And then as far as films go, I think I'll only recommend one this time, but for me, the best film that I have seen in the past couple of months has to be on a silver globe. This is such an interesting movie. If you guys have not seen this film, I'd 100% go recommend it. Obviously, it's a little bit more artsy than it is like gonna be your blockbuster or like documentary. Um, it's a Polish film that's all in Polish, but you can find um, a free version on the internet with subtitles very easily. What really um, kind of got me about this film is just the really, really striking imagery. Um, the costume designs, the shots they choose, everything about it is really interesting and kind of foreign. Um, but if you're like definitely into like the kinds of avant-garde things like Rick Owens um, and that kind of sort of stuff, I could see you being really interested in this movie just from a cinematography and design standpoint. And besides that, I just want to leave you guys off with a few songs. But again, my name is Karsten Craning. Please subscribe, like, I'm going to start being a lot more consistent with these. And here are some songs. And the way the mountains look. Flew out to San Marino, came back with a new Show me the cat. In the manger. Oh. In the Down. Dig on too high. I just had to hit her up. Had to tell the bitch meet me outside. What these lames do for dollars? We play the game, but the shit ugly like chunky Balenciagas. For the spirit, the music is endearing. I'm sharing the human experience. Got Alzheimer's, talking my 30, me and girlie pulling all nighters. She made me wish I could. Light up the animal!